If you have a WordPress theme and you need to add multiple sidebars to it, uh, perhaps unique ones for different pages, uh, it can become quite cumbersome to have to continually uh, add lots of code to your theme just to specify unique sidebars. There's an easy solution and that involves a plugin that you can um, get from the WordPress uh, repository here. It's uh, the custom sidebars plugin and um, as it says on this one you need to have a theme that accepts widgets to make this work. Now if you have built your own theme or you can edit your own theme files that's not a problem at all. All you'll need to do is um, first of all this is my functions file uh, you're going to register a sidebar in there there's my code you can always stop the the video here if you want to and have a look at it uh, <clears throat> in that I've registered a sidebar with an ID of sidebar header I then come over to my uh, content page and I say I want to include um, a sidebar which I'm calling header in there. So my sidebar header that I've created um, also has the sidebar header reference there for my dynamic sidebar. Once that's done, my theme is ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that sidebar to a header because sidebars can go in the foot as well as in the asides. Uh, they can also go in header areas which you can widgetize and that's what I'm going to do on this particular theme. I'm going to have a image widget which I'm going to use. That's one um, by Modern Tribe. I'll show you that on the plugins page. And it's going to go above this title here. So the two widgets, that, uh, sorry, the two plugins, uh, the custom sidebars one by WPMU Dev and the image widget by Modern Tribe. They're the ones that you're going to be um, using if you're going to do the same as I am. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down to our appearance and then go over to custom sidebars. And I've already got a few here. So I'm going to follow a convention and use a similar naming style. Uh, you can see the replaceable sidebars there that we can use. So I'm going to use my header widget area and I'm going to put a new one in. So that's going to be the gallery banner. Um, and it's going to be the gallery banner image. I'm going to create that. The next thing I need to do is come over to the, um, the gallery page. Let's go in and edit that one straight away. Because over here there's a section called sidebars that appears and our header widget area we're going to use I need to set to the gallery banner. If I don't do that I could put my widget in and update it and you wouldn't see a change so you need to specify which one of those custom sidebars or widgets you're going to use. So I'm going to update that and come back to the page. You won't see anything has changed at this stage because the next thing I need to do is come over to my widgets and my new gallery banner image. I'm going to drag uh, an image widget in there and select that image and I'm going to upload one. The one I upload is going to be called, uh, where is it then? Oh dear, gallery, there we go. <laughs> Suddenly became more complicated. Now, there we go, pop that in and I haven't used a title deliberately <clears throat> because I want my image to appear um, and have some alternate text but not a title. I don't want to style up a title on this particular theme. So I insert that into the, the widget. It's already sized um, so I just press the save button. When I come over to the, the page and reload it my image widget now appears right there at the top of the theme and and that's it that's all you need to do